what is the price of the victory? The only one who knows about it is he who has finished first. Multi-day route, exhausting shaking in sands or on a stony track. This is the hardest tests for humans and vehicles. Only the strongest are able to withstand that. Kamaz Master Team won 11 times the Intercontinental Marathon Dakar. This fact alone is enough to become a legend, but there are other victories on the sportsman belt equally important. Three first places in the race Silk Road, three World Cups in international rallies, and of course, permanent lead in the Russian Championship in truck racing. As they say, someone who has not known defeat does not know a victory. In the history of the team, not only ups but also downs occurred. It was a case in 2005 in Dakar. Our crew ran out of fuel at the distance of 50 kilometers before the finish. It was a special route with length of about 600 kilometers. We lacked just a little bit to get to the finish line, and our truck stopped. We made calculations for one consumption, and actually it was soft quicksand. The consumption increased very much. Someone ran short of fuel at the distance 30 kilometers before the finish. Someone 70. We failed to drive. 50. That time the crew of Vladimir Chagin took 18th place. The sportsmen understood that they may not monitor fuel consumption by eye, and the team turned to experts. Equipment for control of fuel consumption of different manufacturers, both Russian and foreign, was tested on trucks, but the result was not positive. In the harsh conditions of the rally, both the truck and the team has to withstand severe turbulence. The old system of fuel control either did not withstand mechanical loads and broke or showed inaccurate data. When testing various systems, we moved from one manufacturer to another. But they all had some drawbacks that prevented full use of the system for control of fuel level. So we always had a backup plan. We had took a dipstick that would not break contrary to some sensor. In the summer of 2012, Kamas were equipped with Omnicom control system. It was first tested in the Astrakhan region on a harsh track Kagan Gold. Strong shaking had no effect on the sensor. All data of fuel amount and consumption matched to the amount in the tank of the truck. Omnicom equipment proved that it is able to give accurate information even in the most extreme conditions. Sensors show only the truth, the real figures. All Omnicom equipment operates under rally, race conditions. There is no failure, no equipment breakage. Cooperation of Omnicom and the team continued. Especially for Kamaz Master, the company has developed a new indicator, LLD, which is installed in the cab. It is different from the base version that it can show current amount of fuel in the tank, calculate average fuel consumption, and also shows how many kilometers you can drive using the remaining fuel. This greatly facilitates the work of the navigator. To get these data, he only has to press a button. We managed to test this system when training in Morocco. The system proved to be like we wanted. Now we are planning to equip for the race all of our sports trucks with this system. And we liked the system so much that we decided to equip with fuel control system technical support cars too. Omnicom fleet tracking system helps Kamas during practice races too. It allows to online remote monitor location and performance conditions of trucks. I hope that our cooperation will be mutually beneficial to achieve our goals in sports. Kamaz Master team chooses Omnicom. Omnicom is an accuracy and reliability proven in the most difficult and extreme conditions.